Now for this next part in the question, what I've done is I've sketched on this point C that we're given. We're told that the point C has a position vector of 2i plus pj minus 4k with respect to the origin O. And p is a constant. We're told though that AC is perpendicular to the line L. So if I just draw that part in, okay, let's just pop that in there. We're told that it makes a right angle perpendicular to L. And we've got to find out this value of P. So how are we going to do that? Well, what we need to remember is that if you do the scalar product or dot product between two vectors, if they're perpendicular, it will come to zero. So in other words, if you were to look at the vector, say, CA, dotted with the vector AB, then that would equal zero. Or you could even do the vector AC dotted with AB, or even BA, and it would still equal zero. So I'm going to look at dotting the vector C to A with the vector A to B. But you can always, as I say, try different combinations of this. And you should find it will come to zero and we'll end up with exactly the same result. So what is the vector C to A first of all? Well, C to A is going to be O to A minus O to C. So we'll just put that in brackets. And if we dot that with the vector A to B, then that must be equal to zero. So O to A minus O to C. What's that going to be? Well, if we start with the vector O to A, one minus three, two, and then we subtract this vector, 2p minus 4, we're going to get 1 minus 2, which is going to be minus 1. And then you've got minus 3 minus p, so that's minus 3 minus p. And then finally, 2 minus minus 4. So it's going to be 2 plus 4, which is 6. So there's our vector c to a. And we need to dot this now with the vector a to b, which we have up here, as minus 3, 5, minus 3. And that equals 0. Now we dot these two vectors together. And hopefully you're familiar with that. What we do is we do the sum of the products of the components. So in other words, we're therefore going to have minus 1 multiplied by minus 3 for the first bit plus the result of 5 times the minus 3 minus p, and then the 6 times the minus 3, 6 times the minus 3, and this will equal 0. So if we work this out, we've got 3 here. Expand the bracket, we've got minus 15 minus 5p, and here we've got minus 18 equals 0. So 3 minus 15 is minus 12, minus another 18 is minus 30. So I've got minus 5p equals, well that was minus 30, so I can add 30 to both sides, and that gives me that. And divide by minus 5, and you get p equals minus 6. Alright, so I hope that's given you some idea then on that part.